To get started here, we're going to look at the filter tool. And if we come over here to the filter tool on our Revit briefcase ribbon, I click on filter, a dialog box comes up. Now, we can see here we have three ways to select from our selection, from the model, or from the active view. I'm going to go from the model here. Then we have our group ordering, so we can change the way we're actually grouping this. So if I want to go by work sets, or if I want to break it down by level, I can do so. I'm going to go by category here. And what I want to do is I want to go out and grab all the windows. Okay, I can expand that out and I can specify the type of window that I want to select. I can go right down to the individual one. And when I go OK here, it, as you can see there, it selects all these windows. Now, we also have a modeless version of this where the dialog box will stay up. And same thing, you can change your grouping and uh, you can select from the, the tree here. And this is a two-way, so I can either select it on the screen and you'll actually see that it selects um, in the dialog box here or I could select it in the dialog box and it'll select it on the screen. So that's the filter tool. Well now that I've got all these windows selected I want to show you our BIM query tool. So I'm going to click on BIM query and a dialog box is going to come up and as you can see it already has all the windows selected because I used the filter command to filter out all those windows. But if I didn't like my selection I could easily come up here to category and I could go down and select whatever I want out of this tree. Now, I already have these windows selected, but I'm going to go ahead and click on the windows. And I don't want to see all the properties of the windows, so I'm going to start filtering this out. And I'm going to go in and say, I just want to see the materials for the casement and the frame. Okay, Only the casement and frame materials, so I'm going to go OK now. And now you can see here, I see all my windows, and now I've got those materials for the casement and the frame. I want to change these materials, so I'm going to come in here, and I don't want it to be aluminum anymore. I'm going to say, let's make it metal steel here, and I'm going to change all of those to steel. This one there. And let's go ahead and change this also to steel, and we're going to change all of these. Okay. Now, other things that we can actually do in here, we can also save this as a preset. So if I want to grab Windows again and have it set up this way, I can turn around and save presets in here. We can also edit schedules this way. We can also do some color coding. We can save this out as an Excel spreadsheet so somebody can make the changes to the Excel spreadsheet and then I could turn around and open this up and run it again. But what I'm going to do in this case here is just apply and close. So if I click on here, I go apply and close and I'm going to go ahead and select on one of these windows now when it's all done. I click on the window and now we'll see over here that it's uh, metal steel and that's what I changed them all to. So the next tool I want to show you, let's go to level one here, uh, is the renumber. Okay, and so I want to start renumbering these rooms here. So I got 101 and 106. So we're going to come back up here to the TSS Revit briefcase. We're going to come over here to renumber and we're going to go in here, we're going to say renumber room space or area. So if I click on this, Move the dialog box over here. So I'm going to start renumbering at number one, and I'm going to go up in an increment of one. But I could have a prefix or suffix in here if I wanted to. We could go alphabetical or numeric. And all I'm going to do is go mark. And I'm going to come over here and select this room here, and you're going to now see this changed to one. I'm going to go over here to this room. You're going to see that's now two. There's three. Let's go change that to four. Let's go five here, and let's go six. All right, so I'm all done. So I'm going to escape here and go close, and the rooms all update. Now the windows are out. Okay, so this is room one, but I got a door here 105. If I click on down here, I've got 106A and 106B, when it really should be 2A and 2B, and this should just be room one. So let's go back up here to the TSS Revit briefcase ribbon. Let's go to renumber, and we're going to go renumber by room. I'm going to renumber all the doors and if they're going to the room or from the room, so I'm going to say to the room, I'm going to sort by the ID, I'm going to go alphabetical, and I'm going to omit the number or letter if only one of them exists. So I do not want this to be called 1A, just call it 1. But these down here I want to be 2A and 2B. So if we go OK, and it automatically goes through, and now you'll see there's 1 and 1, 2A and 2B.